All right, my friends, we're still talking pistols, and now that we understand how to perform the pistol lunge, which is just a very exaggerated knee forward lunge, now we wanna take this and we wanna to continue to progress it until we can adopt that full balance on one leg while in that squat shape. So what can we do? We can take that same lunge we had, which we were leaning forward and leaning into it, but now instead of having our foot on the ground, we're gonna exaggerate this by bringing our foot up to a little step. Look how small this little step is, but it's enough to make me feel like I am almost getting that back knee off the ground. I'm hanging on something. I can progressively load that up. Where am I? I'm right there. I'm standing. I'm going on a deeper box. This is now a mega stretch. I'm about to rip my pants. What am I going to do? Same thing. Leaning into it. Now I'm getting to the point where it's almost like I'm balancing on just the front leg and I'm doing a true step up. And what is a true step up? If you come over here, I'll show you what I mean. A true step up is this. Foot on the box. I lean into this guy. I dive in. Watch the back leg. It comes off the ground. From there, without me pushing off that back leg, I'm actually just pressing through the posting leg. And that is making me really now adopt not just the squatting shape, the mechanics, but also the strength in movement that I need to be able to perform that single leg squat. I don't look like I'm performing an actual pistol yet, but the power transfer, the application of force is there, and that's what we want. So if you can take that lunge, deep lunge, and now start applying it to these steps, you'll start feeling like you're progressively loading. Now, one thing that you wanna keep in mind is when we load up from here and I dig into it, I don't have access to the hamstring. So something that I would recommend doing is heel first, lean back with the hips, meaning lean forward with the chest. Now step in, you'll feel that you have tension in the hamstring. Continue to keep that tension there and now press in. And once you have that shape, now we can start standing. That way you'll have access to the hamstring and it won't be so quad dominant.